Where were you 25 years ago? If you can't answer that question, we can tell you what the Northwest Arkansas Mall was doing instead. Five News reporter Zoe Henry went to the mall where employees dug up a time capsule they buried in 1997. Darren and Erica, this same hole was here 25 years ago, and there they buried a box, sealed it off, and didn't open it again until today. Today marks the 25th anniversary of the mall's expansion. Wow, 25 years ago. Many remember exactly where they were. I was about three and a half, about to turn four years old, uh, probably watching Elmo. Uh, I actually just moved down to Rogers, to Northwest Arkansas. I came from California. I was five years old. Uh, let's see, I was 10 years old, so I would have been living uh, at home with my mother in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Others, not so much. I have no idea. And one was directly involved in the Northwest Arkansas Mall Expansion Project. Back in 1997, she placed her former uniform in the box. Oh, it's melancholy, really, because I so, this was my life. This place was my life. It really was. I so enjoyed working here. A lot has changed in 25 years. Many of the predictions left in the box have come to pass. Oh, it feels great. I predicted we'd have over 85,000 people. We have close to 96,000 people. Uh, it was predicted that we would still be reported as one of the best places in the country in which to live. That's still true. We still make that list. Looking to the next 25 years, the expectations are no lower than the ones set in 1997. I'm sure it'll be growing. That's uh, one thing that original mayor back then is what he said it would be growing. We will continue to grow. We will continue to be the second largest city in Arkansas. We will become a health care mecca. Uh, Inside that box there were several VHS tapes, Victoria's Secret lingerie, and a newspaper headline that said the Hogs were headed to play Michigan for basketball. In the Northwest Arkansas Mall in Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Zoe Henry, 5 News. Well, now we got to put a newspaper in that says the hogs are headed to.